Hello, this is Kathy Mindock, your Norwex Independent Sales Consultant. And this is my sink full of some hot water. I'm going to add some Norwex Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent. So that is about two teaspoons there. And what I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna give that a little stir. What I'm gonna show you today is how amazing and easy this is to clean your dirty range vents. So can you see how dirty that is? So I left it quite a ways so you can see how dirty it is. The other side doesn't look quite as bad, but the side that's really pulling in the dirt and grease is really even black. So I'm going to pop this in the water and you're gonna see almost instantly the water is gonna get dirty. Can you see the dirt in that water already? Now I'm gonna give this a little bit of time, so I'm gonna stop the recording. I'm gonna let it sit about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and show you how easy this comes out. Look at how dirty that water is already, just from submerging it in there. Now if your screen is not very dirty, you don't have to go the full two teaspoons like I did, but mine is really bad. So I went the full teaspoon. So kind of gauge it on that. You can go just one teaspoon. You could go a whole tablespoon if you want, if it's even worse. So I'm gonna stop this now and we'll see you back in a little bit and I'll show you how to clean it up the rest of the way. Okay, we are back. It has been 10 minutes now. And let's check out how dirty that water is. So you can already see a pretty big difference on the screen already. So what I like to do then is just to take a few things. So you can either use like your rubber brush. And so check that out. You can see how that is cleaning that right up. Check out that spot that I cleaned there already. So you can use like the rubber brush. That works really good. In fact, you can see the line where I stopped and where I was cleaning with the rubber brush. Really nice there. Or you can even use something like the Spear of Sponge that Norwex has. So let me um, put that down a little bit so you can see. So I'll kind of scrub on that a little bit. You can use that too. I kind of prefer something with a little bit more bristles though just to get in there a little bit more, but you can see how that is taking care of that as well. All right, or you could even use something like a, any sort of brush that you have on hand. But let's finish this up. So I'm just going to, I like to use like the Spear sponge. You could even use the Enviro sponge, but this is a really greasy mess. And then even the other side, so check out that. You gotta clean both sides. So again, kind of scrub around on that. And if you wanna let it sit longer, you certainly could let it sit longer as well but this is only 10 minutes in that Norwex laundry detergent and like I said I really like the rubber brush for this it really does a good job at getting in all those little spaces around all that netting there that's holding all the grease So check out that really dirty water. I'm gonna give this a little rinse here as well. And look at how beautiful that screen is now. It's hard to see, I'm gonna let this dirty water out. <laughs> You're seeing the dirt from behind. But check that out, how clean that is. It's like a brand new screen. All the way around both sides, nice and clean. And look at how dirty that water was. So it's really 
really grimy. Works more thing once you're done. You can also, if there's a little bit of greasiness to it, you can just take again and just put uh, a drop or a, a couple drops of the Norwex dish liquid on there. And then just kind of scrub that in as well. Because that will help take care of any of the greasiness that is on there. Left over from when you were scrubbing it. couple drops and that'll cut all the grease out of there and then just again just give it another little rinse and it's ready to pop back right on your range hood vent 